Hey guys, welcome to Speak About Digital. In this video, I'm going to guide you on how you can easily use Substack. I'm going to cover a very quick basic tutorial to get you going and understand how Substack works. So if you have no idea about Substack and how to get started, then this video is for you. Substack is a popular platform for writers, bloggers, and anyone who wants to create and publish content online. In this tutorial, we will guide you step-by-step -step on how to use Substack and explore the platform's features and tools. Just before we start, please consider giving me a thumbs up, otherwise I will go ahead and jump right into the Substack tutorial. The first thing that you want to do is, if you didn't create your account yet, you will have a link down below in the description. It's very easy to create an account, and if you already have an account, just skip this step. First, click on the Get Started button. Then follow the prompts to create and personalize your account. Once you have completed the sign up process, you will be taken to the dashboard. The Substack dashboard is designed to be simple and user friendly with a layout similar to that of Twitter. It features a left navigation panel that includes several options such as inbox, notes, chats, explore, notifications, profile, new note, and more. First I'll show you what you can actually find in Substack and then I will show you how we can use Substack. The inbox panel displays all the new readings based on your interests. Here you can access two options, all and saved. The all section includes all the suggested readings from Substack based on your interests, while the saved section includes all the readings that you have saved to read later. In the notes panel, writers can post short form content and share ideas with each other and their readers. It provides a new centralized feed for writers and readers to post, like, reply, and retweet content. It is similar to the Twitter feed interface and notes resemble it in many ways. You can post, like, reply, and retweet content in Substack notes, just like on Twitter. On the right side of the notes, you will see suggestions to subscribe to writers, similar to how Twitter suggests accounts to follow. The chat panel allows you to participate in conversations with writers and other readers. Once a writer starts a thread, you can join the discussion by tapping on the chat icon either on the Substack app or on the web. When you open the chat section, you will see a list of Substacks that you have subscribed to. Displaying the most recent threads, you can tap on a thread to start interacting with the writer and other readers. In the chat, you can reply to any thread with text and or an image and react to other readers' replies. If you want to engage with another reader's message, you can tap on it to react or leave a reply. The Explore panel helps you to explore a variety of readings and posts. You will see recommendations and categories such as staff picks, culture, technology, and politics. In addition, there is also featured content displayed on the right side of the page. The notification panel is where you can view updates related to your subscribed substacks. Whenever there is new content published on one of your subscribed substacks, or when a writer you follow starts a new thread in the chat section, you will receive a notification in this panel. You can click on the notification to view the new content or participate in the discussion. The Profile panel helps you to manage your profile settings and view your subscription and post history. In the Edit Profile section, you can customize your profile by adding or editing your name, bio, profile picture, and social media links such as Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, Facebook, and others. This helps readers to get to know you better and connect with you on other platforms. You can also view the list of all the substacks you have subscribed to in the Writer section. Additionally, you can view your latest posts at the bottom of this page. This allows you to keep track of your publishing history and make any necessary edits or updates. The More panel provides additional options to help you manage your content and subscriptions in Substack. Each option serves a unique purpose and benefits you in different ways. The first option is the Library, which is a centralized location for all the content you save to read later. By saving a post to the library, you can access it at any time and read it when you have the time. The second option is the Archive feature, which allows you to organize your posts and keep them easily accessible. When you archive a post, it is removed from the main feed, but you can still access it at any time through the Archive section. The third and final option is to add RSS feed. This option allows you to add an RSS feed to your Substack account, which will enable you to receive updates directly in your Substack inbox from your favorite websites. To use add RSS feed, all you need to do is enter the URL of the website you want to receive updates from and click on the add feed button. 
Once you do this, you will start receiving updates and newsletters directly in your Substack inbox. Now, how to set up your Substack page for the first time. Setting up your Substack for the first time can be done easily by following these simple steps. First, navigate to the profile section at the top right corner of the dashboard and click on Start Writing. This will prompt you to set up your Substack publication. When setting up your Substack publication, you will be prompted to add your email again. Then you will need to choose your Substack publication URL. By default, all Substacks come with a unique URL domain, domain.substack.com. However, you will have the option to set up a custom domain if you prefer to remove Substack from the URL. Your URL should be easy to remember and share, and it should reflect your publication name and content. Choosing the right URL can help with search engine optimization and increase your discoverability online. As you set up your Substack publication, you'll come across a few other prompts, including the option to upload an email list and a chance to discover other writing for inspiration. You can skip all this for now if you want. Once you set up your Substack publication, the next step is to publish your first post. You can create four types of posts. New post, new episode, new thread, and new video. New post is the most common type of post in Substack. It allows you to write and publish an article or essay on your publication. To create a new post, simply click on the New Post button, then provide the title and subtitle, which can be your message, article, or essay. You can customize your post by changing the style and inserting links, images, audio, or quotes. Once your post is ready, click on the Preview button at the top right corner to preview your post before publishing. If you are satisfied with your preview, click on Continue. Now you can select if this post is for everyone or for the paid subscribers only, but before that you need to turn on the paid subscriptions. You can also choose to allow comments or not and some other settings. Then click on Send to Everyone Now to publish your post. New threads are similar to posts, but are designed to be more interactive. They allow you to start a discussion or ask a question and invite your subscribers to participate in the comments section. Threads can be a great way to engage with your community and build a sense of connection around your content. To create a new thread, simply click on the New Thread button. Next, provide a title and write a question or comment to kickstart a conversation. Once you have completed these steps, click on Continue to proceed. New episode refers to the process of creating a new podcast episode for your Substack publication. You can either upload an audio file or record directly from the platform. To begin a new episode, click on the New Episode button, then choose an audience list for your podcast. You have two options at this point, start a new podcast or import an existing one. Choose the appropriate option and click on Next. Now add the podcast title, description, category, and language. Once you have completed these steps, click on the Create Podcast button to publish your podcast. New video on Substack allows you to create a new video post for your publication. You can upload a video file or record directly from the platform. This post type is particularly useful for video creators who want to share their work with their Substack audience. To create a new video post, click on the New Video button. You have two options at this point, uploading an existing video file or record a new one. Choose the appropriate option and write a title and subtitle for the video post. You can preview your post before publishing it by clicking on the Preview button. Once you are satisfied with your post, click on Continue to publish it. These tabs here allow you to see your posts, podcasts, subscribers, and stats. Under the Settings tab, here you can edit your publication name, short description, and add a logo. Also, here you can set a minimum pledge amount for readers of your content. So, once you decide to monetize, you pay 10% of your revenue to Substack. It's also worth being aware that all Substack payments are processed through Stripe, which will take an additional 2.9% plus 30 cents per transaction. And there you have it, a beginner's guide to using Substack. You can check the links in the description. That helps a lot. Thank you. So again, if you found this video helpful, please give me a thumbs up. And if you have any questions at all, please comment below. I try to answer all the comments the best I can. Thanks for